Hello everybody, this is Gabbis Games, and welcome back to Crossout. Um, because of the current server issues, I'm not going to do anything gameplay-wise, but since I do want, did want to get a video out today about Crossout, I figured I would do something else. Today we're going to look at uh, things to uh, like ways to earn money at low tier, mid tier, and high tier. So at low tier, um, you are going to look at we that you are going to have vehicles, like, for example, you guys scroll through the list for a moment. Let's say The Apprentice. Or probably not even, but because of these things, high tier wheels. So I'm going to replace those with some medium steering wheels. So this is, um, well, a more glorified way, a vehicle that you would probably have, something with a machine gun and a cannon. So you're not gonna have much in terms of like money of your own and you're just looking for a way to get that first wear or get that stuff for the crafting bench going. So first off, how much does a crafting bench cost? So for crafting bench currently, uh, you can choose between one part for five coins, five parts for 25 coins and 10 parts for 47.50 coins. I strongly suggest just going one part first and crafting one part, selling it and then get your five parts and then selling all those five parts and going for the 10 parts or just selling resources until you can get the 10 parts or just selling resources in general. So if you're gonna play with a vehicle like this, you will probably only have the get the machine gun, shotgun, cabin, cannon and wheels missions. Of course, you will not have to get the wires mission because you're not yet 3000 power score. So, your main way of earning money is going to be copper. Get 100 copper and you can sell it to between 5 and 7 coins with ease. Always put up the high bid because since the price are so much alike, you are you're going to quick sell really quickly. Especially if you just if you put it if you put like put it at 6.5 to 6.2, you're going to get a little bit more coin out of your pack at the time and you just have to take some like just wait for a moment. Just take your time when selling. I mean, you can always just continuing with grinding the resource, or more of these resources while you are waiting till the other ones are selling. Uh, so literally, okay, I cannot sell stuff because this is my promotional account. And um, so basically, you can see how much is just being bought and sold. It's literally, if you go to the market itself, you can see 100 scrap metal is the most popular item in the entire game. There's like parts actually being sold and bought. And here comes scrap 1000, also gets really quickly. But those are your main ways of earning money. That's your first way of earning money. I suggest keeping those uh, comments until you reach your storage limit of 200 because you're gonna need them and you want to get a few of each like three four of each of these cabins the huntsman and docker and i suggest do not go for the wwt one because you do not need it but because you're gonna only craft it so you're gonna get a stock of docker huntsman shorts um Luparas, Avengers, uh, Weapon Radiator, Avia Booster, Fuel Barrels, Car Jacks, Radio, stuff like that. Your wheels, get a stockpile of those up so you can at least build basic stuff. And of course then you're going to look at better weapons you get and then you're going to get your first basic rares. Be sure to do your season guys. Because even this is easy season, which is automatically selected, you have to use shotguns, machine guns, uh, nothing in particular, cannons, and uh, machine guns again, and cannons. So all the basic common weapons, you do not have any rarity requirement on there. And here you, you have to get raider kills and uh, raids, uh, six wins, some battles, I mean, you, you just have to do basic stuff. And the rewards be first 25, 50, 50, 75, 75, 
150, 150, and 200 scrap metal. So especially the last three ones, uh, I mean, that's that's around 10 coins, 10 coins, 12 coins. And after you did this one, you got 300 more, which is around 80 to 20 coins. And you can easily do this if you just like take your time, get somebody like that's a little bit higher level to party up with that can carry you through your easy raids. And you got your stockpile fuel going because of you because you always run your fuel barrel in your raids. Then everything is gonna be fine, and you're gonna get that money really quickly. Then the first item I suggest getting might be a really weird one is a fuel tank. So for trading, it's about 40 coins, uh, or you craft it for your 450 scrap metal, 50 copper, three fuel barrels, two avia boosters, and two carjacks. These ones being almost free. Uh, Avia being the most expensive one, oops, trade at almost 0 0.3 coins. Um, after you did your few um, raids, you got yourself the copper, probably, and the scrap metal as well. And you, and you only need 5 coins, so you need 550 crop, uh, scrap metal like, to get that one part. And you just get it. I mean, if you got this thing, you can ramp up your fuel grain from 15 so for 5 to 15. And with that fuel you can either sell it. So additional income. Or you can use it for raiding. Get copper and sell that. Also if you're going to do medium or hard raids. You're going to get enough copper. That you can sell it. And return buy fuel. For that uh, money. So then you can do uh, raid uh, grinding as well. And for... Yeah, the fuel, let's see, it only almost goes for almost 5 per 100. And copper per 100 goes for 7.12. So you can, you can just barely make a profit of that and get yourself that extra fuel. And get a tiny bit of profit and you can continue to do those seasons to earn yourself money. Also, adventures great. You can... Just sell them. Do not open them and get at risk of getting yourself uh, those untradable things. Okay, the untradable, if you sell it, you can get 100 scrap bottles. So it's basically worth 5. So, um, like 5 to 6 coins. Not much. And that's really all you're going to get. Again, this is a promotional account, so that's why I got so much resor uh, resources. And that's the first basic of how to earn money. So that with that you can get yourself the first rares going. So I am I'm gonna cover um, what rares I should just get first before anything else. So the first one that I should just getting after of course the fuel tank is getting yourself a hazardous generator. The hazardous generator will allow you to have two more energy. It's a very small pack. It's a very small package compared to the heavy generator. The heavy generator is huge and it is very heavy, also in general. Well, the light generator only gives you one energy compared to the hazardous two. So that's why I personally say the hazardous generator is the best generator of the tree right here. Although you do have to take consideration to deal 700 damage in an 8 meter radius when destroyed, so you do have to protect it quite a bit. So um, for raid vehicles, for for grinding money. I have a very easy setup. Um, this is for a huntsman cabin or a gorilla style cabin. Because I personally do not suggest getting the docker because the docker is really hard to build with. And generally you have to chill it at front and everybody is going to hit it and you're going to take a shit out of damage. And you won't like that. So uh, I will temporarily place a part right here. And basically you get a frame up like this. Because uh, you do not necessarily have to put the wheels right here. You can simply put it wider and put the wheels on the sides. And now you got in 12 by 2 slot for modules. So, since this, uh, this one actually has 140 health points, it takes a while to destroy. I'm going to put that one right here. I put the fuel barrel right behind it. And now you can choose, or you put it right like this. And you actually, 
sorry, you've got the fuel tank in the back, fuel power in front, like this. So you've got a two space slot in front, one space slot in back. And, you know, you can just slap on the gunsman. And with some low level parts, you can get yourself the fan window. You can, those are the fan windows. I mean, this is a really low level build for grinding purposes. Um, this is literally just a full guide, guys, on how to earn money at any given tier. Um, I'll be checking times. Uh, I'll be ch at some point. I'll be ch after I upload it before, like actually like publishing it. I will just check timestamps and throw in the timestamps underneath to like see where mid tier starts and where end tier starts. So this is my advised rig for grinding. It's thirteen hundred power score without weapons, and if you just slap on four shorts, just four shorts. So one right here, one right here, one right here. One right here. So in a staggered formation, for sh you have a pretty good power firepower for just over 2,000 power score. You are gonna face people just over 4,000, like for or just over um just over one like uh, just with just barely a few rare weapons on there. And also, one, uh, if you can, get some canvas roofs to block off the fuel tanks a little bit more. Because you do want to have that extra protection. And this will get you through like hundreds of matches for low tier grinding. And it's going to get yourself a few rares. I mean, you just need six common wheels. Four common machine guns, or two shotguns and a machine gun, or a cannon and a machine gun, that doesn't really matter. Come to cabin. You're gonna get the fuel barrel and the fuel tank. Um, this thing cannot be upgraded by a, with a generator, sadly, because there's simply no room for it. Or unless you're gonna slap it in the back, but you do not want that. Also, be wary of over-arming your vehicle, because if you have too much armor, you're gonna not gonna have enough guns. The gun's are gonna be shot off, and you're gonna be like a big plop of armor that's not gonna do anything except maybe this but yeah so that mainly covers the basics of um, the base grinding at low tier um, if you're gonna go for a little bit higher tier um, you can like for this is PVE but uh, I want to know that you can go for a docker. It will be slower, but you will have the as just generated in the back as well. And instead, you will put the uh, fan windows like so. One, two, three, four, five, six. That will protect you, and you're gonna put some arm more armor right here. And you're gonna have eleven energy to work with to. Get yourself some decent weapons going. And once you get yourself a handful of rare weapons, so let's say factors or sledgehammers, uh, repair, synthesis, judge, little boy, and wasps, those are the main weapons. The ones I advise most are the simple factor or a defender, actually. Actually, let's say defenders for machine guns, um, spitfires for shotguns, yeah, spitfires. I would say between these two, I would say synthesis, ever cannons. I would go for the little boy over the judge. So you can take, for example, a little boy in the back here, and take yourself a synthesis wrong gun. Synthesis, you will probably have, you will have to buy it because you will not have it, but it's not that expensive, so it's doable. So this is going to be a grind vehicle, and if you can, if you ever need to do cannons on a raid mission. So you got your main gun, and then boom. Heavy hitting cannon in the back. Cannons are going to be expensive though, because you're probably going to need an ammo pack for it, and you will not have it. So, yeah. Actually, uh, of course, after that generator, I should just get yourself one or two factors defenders or sledgehammers or like synthesis repairs and or one judge or a little boy and an ammo pack so this one small one 
So one of the uh, one of those combos. Um, do not get your cell uh, or wasps. Actually, two wasps will be enough as well. And before getting yourself a better cabin, because cabins are gonna pop up your power score. I mean huntsman plus a hazard generator is three hundred and fifty, plus the. I don't know if we fell out of my head, so 310. So that will be 560 power score. 560 power score for 10 energy. So for the same speed, roughly, you're going to have a Wyvern at 750 power score. That's a bit more. Quite a bit. So that's something you have to watch out for with those cabins. Docker. Huntsman is going to be. Uh, Docker has just going to be exactly the same. 560. Against the trucker 750 for 11. So there you got your advantage. First generator before cabin. Otherwise you're gonna you're gonna get too into too high for power score too quickly. And I strongly suggest until you get yourself a stockpile of rares, literally just a lot of them. Do not go above 3,000 power score because you're gonna get wrecked. Absolutely wrecked, man. I mean, of course, you're, there are exceptions if you get good builds, but generally, if you got just the rares and no epics or legendaries or whatever, and you've only got a few of them, don't do buff 3000 just yet. So, now we're going to go for mid tier. So, now, um, imagine you got yourself that stockpile of rares going, and you're going to get your first epic going for you. First epic, I would strongly suggest as always get the generator first, gen or the gas generator. In this case there's no epic fuel up thing, so ep uh, gas generator and then also with the stockpile of wheels, I also include wheels. So either racing wheels, twin wheels, or and or large wheels. Those are the ones I advise most. Those are like twin wheels and large wheels especially. And racing wheels after that. Racing wheels being 180 kilogram and twin wheel 240 kilogram. So the twin wheels are a little bit heavier, but they also uh, they, and they have less, slightly less health, but have much more tonnage for and a lower power score than a racing wheel. And of course, large wheels, giant tonnage compared to uh, compared to the racing wheels and stuff like that. And. It's a really, yeah, they're just good parts to get. It's really a must-have always. After that, you're gonna, after that, for a gen generator, you can get a look at getting your first epic. So I would suggest either getting equalizer or two, thunderbolt or two, or uh, if you want to go into invasions, get a cricket or two, and uh, together with the wasps. Or let's see, get yourself a executioner 88 millimeter. I would not get yourself a fat man. Executioner is better, or a quasar. Quasars are just plain overpowered. They're they're really really good. In my opinion, they're one of the best epics in the game currently, but just because of that accuracy and damage. If you know what you're doing and how to aim with them, people cannot believe me. It's harder to dodge actually than it is. If somebody leads it properly, you really have to like see the, uh, you. You have to factor, calculate where it's going, and then you have to decide if it's gonna hit you or not, and then you have to react. And that takes time, and most of the time, it already has hit you by then. Believe me, it, it's harder to dodge than it actually looks. So yeah. After those parts, you are gonna look at a um, rare cabin as well. Uh, uh, getting yourself your first epic cabin. I was just getting the humpback for raids first, and then we're gonna introduce a new raid for normal raids because you're gonna do normally easy and maybe normal. But now you're gonna take a look at invasion. Invasion at mid tier, it's better than normal raid. Actually, it at five thousand power score, at a raid vehicle, you're already gonna be better than uh like off against a medium mission, especially if it's chase because chase is absolutely garbage. <laughs> uh, it's really really bad, man, guys. 
it's so bad. So for PvP, um, you're probably gonna look at a build with a jawbreaker. So I'm gonna build a jawbreaker vehicle now. This is gonna be a pretty extensive episode actually. So with the jawbreaker, with the modules on in this side. So we got a fuel tank. I'm um not gonna take a fuel barrel, just a fuel tank. That's enough. Fuel barrel, gas generator on the other side. And we are gonna shield that with a large wheel. Uh, right here and right here. With an additional protection fender over it as well. Before adding this off. Another fender for twin wheel. Twin wheel. Right here. Or actually, let's go for racing wheels, shall we? A little bit more compact, a little bit more health. And. Oh, whoops. You're gonna look at a pretty big, substantial build already, for real. And actually, I suggest you also get yourself a handful of non steering. First, I increase yourself the tonnage compared to normal wheels. As you can see, it's much higher. Tonnage 850 compared to 510 for the same power score. And they all both decrease it in the same way. Just go for two steering wheels front and a non steering, and then another steering, and then maybe another steering in the back. But that's about as most if you want. You want, you want, most, you want eight to ten wheels, not thing more at all. And um, actually, mm, let's pull this one a little bit forward. So we've got a little bit of room in the back. I might actually, I might actually want to shorten it a little bit. I cannot pull that one closer. Well, actually, I can. So pulling closer, it is at the cost of that fender. Rip. Um. So let's see. We're gonna. First, grab ourselves a little bit of a small part right here. This is going to be costing quite a lot of parts, to be honest. Uh, sorry for that. So, some of you guys might not be able to build it because part limit. I just need to find a small issue to like clean up that side. And you're going to look at, for example, shotguns. I'm gonna do this for example, example with shotguns. You're most likely only gonna have one Thunderbolt by now, and the other two are gonna be sledgehammers. So sledgehammer is gonna go like this, Thunderbolt like that, and because of the slight sloping because of the large wheels, you can actually still fire like normally, but you do wanna cover the sides a little bit. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. By now you should have um, at least two rear doors. So we're gonna slap on two of these right here and right here. And um, let's see what level do we get those bonnets on. If that's not too much high level, 28, 25. Yeah, that's way too high of level. So we're gonna skip those parts, and instead we're gonna throw on. Mm, let's see, large slopes. Three of these. Gonna we're gonna keep it simple today, guys. Wide slopes, truck door. I know what. Um, these are actually gonna do that work really greatly. Protect the entire vehicle from the side. Without actually costing much parts. That's nice. But actually protecting the back. Or mm, fan windows. Gonna go there. Gonna go there. Gonna put one of these right here. Gotta put it upside down, but mm, nah. And actually, let's go for quarter walls. Right here, right here. And go for the barrel quarters on top of that. And if we go for two more, 
slope. So you got you got this really low profile ride with actually no rear protection just yet. Rip. That's gonna get you killed. So we're gonna of course you should have a few levels and at least er in literally every faction. That's a must. If you're gonna go uh, by the time you should get yourself like the first epics, you should already be having a few levels in every single faction in the game. So got the session book of force to protect that side. And let's see. Burger Krills. These ones cannot be placed there. Okay, I can't place them like that, but I don't really want that. Unless we could do medium struts. Yeah, that's a medium struts. Those are those are gonna cover the rear of the guns a little bit. Not much, but enough for them to stay alive. So I'm gonna try and keep this under 55 parts. Um let's see, what we can we improve in this thing? We could add ourselves another side panel, but that's probably something you guys won't have yet, so I think we're actually let's see where it is that medium strut. Uh nah, it doesn't look good. Let's keep it at this, shall we? I know this is pretty much a ramp build, but it's not actually a ramp because it doesn't have any ramming parts. But a ramming part actually can seal the deal with this thing. Uh, might, this might be actually functioning now as a ramp build. This is going to be a pretty good PvP ride for quite a lot of people. You I mean, you got yourself a pretty good weapon loadout at the first setup. I'm just gonna test out if it's gonna be rampable if not. Mm, nope. Never mind. So yeah, this this is the example weapon loadout. You can also go for uh let's see, Spectre 2. And can we do factors? No. Can't do charts. So you can you gonna you gonna take a look at charts at then five at five point one. This is 5.7, so it's almost 6,000 power score. So you are, you might actually encounter issues with getting facing legendary guys, or maybe even guys with relics. Well, scorpion because the other relics are crap, but um, you do have to watch out for that. You might actually want to like front mount a gun around here, and also another suggestion: you since you've got a lot of space here, you can. Like, no problem, you can add some weapon cooler, some simple stuff. So we're gonna add these two, and we're gonna add back the big, gr big grills. You gotta look at the vehicle of 6000 power score, but you're gonna do quite a lot of stuff with it. I mean, this is, this is something that's gonna keep you re going for quite a long while. You can upgrade it. Upgraded, you can get yourself modules, you can get yourself more epic weapons. And yeah, it's just a pretty good vehicle overall to go with. And oh, there we go, ramp build. But here's the advantage of this one specifically. Because of the way the modules are shaped, there's actually really little chance that the dog should be penetrated. Because the wheel, the um, size of the wheel, large wheels will actually protect you from people like penetrating it. Because the large wheels, if they shoot the large wheel with a scorpion, they will not be able to penetrate so far that you can actually detonate the two modules. Of course, you they are risk if you're gonna if you're gonna shoot right here and right here, then they, you will be in trouble. But it's actually a really good wiggle overall. It's, yes, it, so there is risk of explosive but in my opinion it will be fine probably and yeah you're gonna take a look at invasion then so for invasion um i would not use this specific weapon loadout instead i would be using um basically this i would sacrifice a little bit of stuff right here for simplicity, 
and then start mounting some grills like this at boards. Uh, you could do your normal stuff in there, but doesn't really have to. Your explosive stuff, I mean. And you're probably only gonna have one cricket and two normal wasps. So you're gonna take a look at this loadout, probably. So 13 energy. And I'm gonna try an invasion, even though the server issues are pretty bad. I'm just gonna try it with this thing because. This thing, this weapon loadout is actually really devastating, believe me, guys. The second. Uh, of course, I do want to put the cricket actually on a separate button. You know what? Let's put it on most five. So. There we go. And evasion doesn't seem like. Oh, there we go. Um, one warning, you're going to see a lot of guys with low power score if you're gonna, not going to team up. And then you might be in trouble. And you have to be efficient with your power score. But at the same time, you want to be as high as the power score as possible. Because um, the higher your power score, the higher the copper you gain per match. The base is 18 copper per match, but... If you have um, 4,000 power score, it'll be up to 21, and 5,000 to 24, and 6,000, in my case, to 27. Just gonna hunt down this Leviathan, this is a small one. And it's gotta be dead soon. Oh, cannons. Ouch. To be honest, two wasps can actually do quite a lot of damage in this case. Second one's dead. That's a small one. Uh, of course, you do have a respawn at this, in this game mode, so that's fine. I'm not going to fire a single shot. Ooh. I was lucky there, because this thing has a really small turning radius. And I re really quickly reacted to that. Because, and because I realized, you have to one thing to realize. Um, a dr guy like this, will also uh, the AI will also a always aim at the place where you are currently and where you're headed. I was out of ammo anyway, so being di dead here doesn't really matter that much. So now I'll start suiciding. Oop. Oops, that's an enter, not a backspace. And I actually got destroyed before I could kill it. So this is the second one. We got two minutes to kill it. And then we it's always set back to three minutes again. The timer to kill the third one. Hopefully the third one is not going to be a turret cannon one, because if it's a turret cannon one, I mean, I, I'm going to build one of those uh, soon. Uh, of course, I cannot send it to the battle to show how badass it is into one of those actual battles, and ooh. <laughs> Flipped it right there, and boom, and boom, 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 boom. There we go. Watching them with rockets. Rockets are really are the most effective current array to actually deal with those guys. If you really want to deal quickly with an en one enemy Leviathan on your own, rockets are the way to go. Rockets having the highest alpha damage, burst damage, and just overall DPS of all we uh, all vehicles, like all weapons. I mean. They're going to do you good. And especially because you can burst weapon your fire and then get into cover. It's really going to help you. 
And he's gonna go this way. I saw him going this way. Yep, there he is. And those are turret cannons, and I do not like those turret cannons because they're gonna hurt me a lot. See, there we go already. And I cannot buy these, so that's a problem. I need to craft those to help carry these missions out better. So yeah, turret cannons, I mean, you saw how he had a turret cannon. I had a few turret cannons on there, and we were dead immediately. Another tip on evasion, of course, get that spaced armor going against those cannon shots to get some small, easy, defendable, um, you know, small, low health parts that not gonna hurt you a lot. This guy even self-destructed. I think he already died once, so... Oh, no, he didn't. That's good. It's not like he can win against this guy, though. Sad, but true. You can see here, one turret gun at the front, one at the side, and each left and right. Cannon gun in the back, we went up top. No way, he's gonna win against this, sadly. And there he goes. And rip. Defeat. And it's hard, yes. You need a good coordinated team, yes. But if you win, you're gonna get a lot of stuff. I mean, even this defeat gave me 14 copper, which is actually really decent. If you would have an 11,000 power score, which is the maximum power score this the, uh, the three, three, uh, three copper per 1,000 power score works on, you would actually get more copper per defeat than you would get from a medium rate per win. However, you do want to point out that seasons, the medium season for the uh, free rare, except for Steppenwolf and Dontrude on the reels, um, that does not... Um, this one does not count in invasion, it only ca uh, counts in medium or hard rates. So you have to use um, the same types of weapons, a little bit more drone, like more advanced weapons, including rare weapons. Um, but yeah, it's not that much harder than the easy one, to be honest. And it's going to yield you quite a lot of money. And at this tier, you can even start, if you got yourself the stuff, you can even start doing a hard one. Because here you're going to take a look at all weapons, rare or higher. So unguided rocket, shotguns, melee weapons, melee weapons, shotguns, unguided rockets again, shotguns again, and another type of melee weapon. So this is a lot of the same weapons, so that's a pretty good thing. And it's going to use you one epic part. And if you can't do this with a guy that's carrying you, that's already done this a few times, you can get, in one or two days, you can get yourself an epic. Or you can get yourself the crate, and you can sell either the epic or the crate, depending if you want to open it or not, and to see what you get, and then sell it if you do not want to have it. Or sell it right out of the way, and get yourself another epic from it. And that's done every two weeks. You can get yourself a free epic. And it's tradable, so nothing's wrong there. And it's really gonna do you a good uh, deal, basically. Those are the main ways of earning money. So the end game, you're gonna look at something the same as this, but then fully fleshed out. So if I'm going for a fully fleshed out grinding wick for this same setup, four, five, six, seven. It. And we're going to start out with one, two, three, four large steering wheels, two hardened tracks, and two raising wheels. Actually, it's twin wheels because I have more tonnage and we're going to need the extra tonnage actually. So, giant rig. Gotta stick on the hump back, right here. And this, remind you, this is the absolute top, top, top tier. So, there's nothing better than this, basically, if it comes to grinding pure money to get those relics going. So, platform building right here. 
And we're going to stick on the weapons first. So we're going to have a cricket right here, cricket right there. And we can actually stick on one wasp. You might question why a wasp, because then we could well, combine with the Apollo, and then we can stick on a powerful engine mark two. With the powerful engine mark two, we can only put on a wasp, yeah, but we will have a giant amount of mass to work with. And we can just use it, and it also has 20% faster reload, of course. And, of course, you want to stick on ammo packs, so we're going to stick on f two, four of these guy uh, big ones. So, as long as I do not die, I will not have any issues with just firing at every single one of them. Literally, I can kill, I've got enough ammo right now to kill all four freaking Leviathans. So, we're going to start with a two cap, and a plate, plate, plate plate and we're actually going to go flip it further in the little front right here and we're going to make it longer you can see it's already 9000 power score pretty much and we're going to continue with this setup another plate another plate another plate and um now we got to put a strengthened slope underneath here to put up the final plate and we're going to even chill on a train pile in the front because now we can handle that mass. And we're going to start with first two of these up top here because the top armor is less important than the first line. We can do it like this. And now we're going to start go out, continue with these ones. Two, three, four. This is basically the shot blocking everything. This is basically what is going to protect us as a vehicle the entire freaking time. And I actually have to remove this one temporarily because I kind of want to put these things on there. This way. So I can put three on each side. We're probably going to be over tonnage as you can see right here. But that's pretty much a given if you're going to go for a vehicle this size. Um, we can actually downs way ours a little bit by going for a little bit lighter parts because actual health for a single part is less important in this meta than actual freaking, well, like having the space armor because of the pure turreted cannons vehicles in the game. And so because of that, we're going to even replace these ones with some, oh, lighter parts. And you want know actually, let's remove this one because it, we cannot handle that mass actually. And put this one, one down. So everything is pretty much connected up. I'm going to move these ones one forward. So, and to ensure we connect up even the front plate. So, if basically the frame gets this gets blown up or whatever, we will still have everything connected up like normally. Got to stick on some more plates. You can you're already looking at a week of over 4000 health and over 10000 power score. I mean, yeah, this is m most people would call this overkill, but this is what you need if you're going to beat an invasion, like for real. Uh, do I have any more plates that I can stick on here? So two space, place, two space, place. Ah, damn it. Uh, straight by twos. Got to make lighter here. There we go. So yeah, huge vehicle. 
And this is just what is going to keep you alive. All this freaking armor. So much going on here. I am going to... Damn it. Uh, actually, since the acceleration is already like, almost non-existent. Now let's put the wasp up a different group as always. And let's try another invasion. We're going to get... Probably get some stronger Leviathans because of the so much bigger vehicle we got right here. I um, mean, the power score of the Leviathans compared to the power score of your teammates is actually a little bit relatable. Uh, and because of you having a much higher power score than the average player, you're going to also have a slightly higher power score in the Leviathans overall. But because of this thing being. Well, I sh kind of should increase the power score by using something like a fuel barrel or fuel tanks to 11,000. And then I'm going to show you, you literally get 42 copper per match in a 40 copper setup. Like 40 fuel setup costing. And yeah, this thing is actually, this thing actually work, goes at a decent speed still. And uh, there we are. Already turreted cannons on there. Oh, I saw those rockets. I saw those rockets. Got that turreted cannon. There we go, and now he's pretty much disabled. So now we're doing okay. And there's the second one right off the bat. That's actually something that happens from time to time. I have a small time chance that it happens. And actually, it will hurt you quite a bit. As you can see here. And there we go. After killing the first one and damaging the second one, you'll probably indeed die. So, um, do not get yourself the response. Because response are more expensive than the actual vehicle. And this is a big problem. Because of all, all of us dying right off the bat there. And he's gonna shoot it. He's gonna shoot it. He's gonna shoot it. He's most probably gonna shoot it. And that's and then it's GG instantly. Wow, he actually hit my guns. Also, guys. Why, if you guys wonder why I put all the armor like that. And why I didn't put any. Like, in terms of my gun. Like, all my guts up there. That's because the AI generally fires only at your cabin. And if it, the, the main damage source is the Leviathan, there's not really much else that's going to do a lot against you. So there we go. I mean, I got 65 freaking rounds on my Wasp. I mean, these little guys, they're not gonna do much. They only have one machine gun or whatever. Oh, there it is. We have, we have to clear these ones even. Damn. This is just broken. <laughs> Look at my health pool going down there. Wow. Just wow. This guy has a spear? And a melee gun? That's just bad. So yeah, we lost another one here. But you're gonna see how much more we earn from this loss compared to the other loss just because we have higher power score. And if you get yourself four guys with each with one of these setups, 
or go with a uh, gas generator and two wasps and a cricket. Works too, as long as, uh, as long as you have the powerful engine. Don't hide it. It will kill the pump anyways. So you can just don't about bother hiding. He's just running away. And then it's the then it will say bye bye to the freaking pump. There we go. Four three two one boop. Bye bye. So yeah, I'm not gonna try another one, but here we go, 22. That's more than a 3,000 you can earn at a uh, win in medium. Like in general, that's more than, that's around the same you can earn actually at a win in medium. So that's actually really decent. So this is pretty much the ho best way to earn money if you're gonna go pure grinding, if you got three or four of these guys. Then that's gonna be a really quickly way to get yourself at a lot shit out of copper, which you can transfer and send into money to get the uh, like uranium you need to craft those sweet scorpions. And this is actually a free one. That's actually really that's a, actually helps quite a lot. So yeah, you're you're gonna do one thousand wires, one thousand uh, uh, one thousand copper, and that's six hundred uranium ore, which is Per 10, already 170. So, I think you're gonna need six times this. <sighs> it's just so insane how much, like how expensive uranium is in this game. Like, don't even bother trying to get it the normal way because you're gonna need to get into one of the top clans and you gotta be playing that grind non-stop, you gotta, you gotta be a really good player, and you're gonna need something really good with hovers and everything like that. So yeah, like top tier, you do not really need to earn money anymore because already you got pretty much top tier and there isn't really an end game in this game. So that's less important, so yeah, this is just an alternative way to earn yourself a lot of copper if you wish to do so. Um, Again, do it with teammates only. Do not do it alone because you're going to get bad teammates and then stuff like this is going to happen. So, yeah. Anyways, I want to thank you guys all very much for watching as always. And I'll catch you guys all later. See you guys.